This is the part 2 of writing mathematical expressions. The part 1 of this video can be found in the description box below. I will show some helpful techniques in writing mathematical expressions. Since government examinations have word problems. In which English terms must be converted into an algebraic expressions. Before you can tackle complex word problems. You need to know how to translate simple problems into an algebraic expression. Generally. You'll do this by replacing the words with operators that mean the same thing. So for instance. 8 divided by x could be 8. Division symbol. Then x. Here are some of the most common math words. You'll see in a government examinations. For an addition symbol. You'll commonly encounter this English terms. Such as. Combine. Sum. Increase. More than. Larger. More. For instance, the sum of 9 and 10. So we can simply write this as 9 plus 10. Combine 20 and 55. Or combination of both 20 and 55. This means 20 plus 55. A number increased by 7 means x plus 7. Or any letter in the alphabet. You can use any letter to represent as unknown number. As long as you encounter these common words, it simply means that you need to use addition. Next is subtraction. Commonly used English terms are minus, less than, subtracted from, decreased by, reduced by, difference, diminished by, less than, and so on. 10 minus 3. Simply as 10 minus 3. 8 decreased by 2 is simply 8 minus 2. 500 diminished by 195 is simply 500 minus 195. But take note of this. In translating problems using the English terms less than and subtracted from are different. In writing mathematical expressions using these phrases, the first term mentioned is written after the subtraction sign, while the last term mentioned is written before the subtraction sign. Example, 20 less than x. This means that x minus 20. If you will write 20 minus x, then you are wrong. Also with the phrase, subtracted from, let's say for example, 55 subtracted from 70. It means, 70 minus 55, not 55 minus 70. Again, this principle only applies to these two phrases, less than, and subtracted from. Take note of that. Next we have, multiplication. Common English terms used are, times, multiply, of, twice, triple, quadruple, product. For instance, the product of 7 and 9 is just 7 times 9, or 9 times 7, in multiplication. It can be interchange, since there's what we call commutative property of multiplication. Changing the order of factors does not change the product. 88 of 5 is just 88 times 5, or 5 times 88. That's it. Very simple. Last example. Twice the number x. It only means 2x. Lastly, we have division. Most common words used are cut or split into each, divided by, per, quotient of, average, ratio of. For example, a number split into 10. This simply means n divided by 10. Division sign can either be this or a slash. The ratio of 200 out of 50 is just 200 divided by 50. The quotient of 6 and 2 is just 6 divided by 2. How about the equal sign? What are the English terms used to denote equal sign? 
These are the common English terms used for the equal sign. Is. Are. Was. Were. Will be. Equals. Results. Is the same as. Yields. For example. When a number is subtracted from 12. The result is 5. What is the number? We can simply write this as. 12. Minus x. Then equal to 5. The term the result is. Denote an equal sign. Last example. The product of 8 in a number. Yields 25. Can be written as. 8x equals 25. Since yields signify us to use an equal sign. Some expressions are slightly more complicated than the ones we looked at previously. For instance, some expressions include more than one math operation. Take this one as an example. 6 times the sum of 8 and 2. If you were to translate this word for word, you change the word times to a multiplication symbol and put a plus sign. Between the 8 and the 2, your expression would look like this. However, this wouldn't get us the right answer. This is because the order of operations would call for you to multiply 6 times 8 first, then add 2. However, our written expression asks us to multiply 6 by the sum of 8 and 2. In other words, we need to add 8 and 2 first, then multiply that number by 6 to satisfy the word problem. If you're familiar with algebraic notation, you know that parentheses are useful in cases like this. It will let you group part of an expression and solve it separately from the rest. Here, we can use parentheses to group 8 and 2 so that we can satisfy the problem, which is adding first the 8 and 2 before multiplying 6 to it. This is the correct way to write the word problem into an expression. Based on the order of operations, always solve operations inside the parentheses first. Here, you'll need to add 8 plus 2 first, then multiply that sum by 6. Therefore, the answer must be equal to 60, not 50. That's all for today's video. Subscribe for more educational content like this. If you have one minute of your vacant time, I invite you to answer the Nomo Studio Performance Survey. Link can be found in the description box below. See you next time. Keep safe everyone.